Hey guys, uh, you're tuning in to Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey. Hope you guys are having a good day here. Um, today's video, I wanted to shoot a video on <clears throat> the extrude option when you're creating a part. Um, so, just to give you an example here, we're going to go to part, create a new part, and go up here to start 2D sketch. This will give you your, you, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this will give you your viewing planes. So I'm going to go with the XY, the XY plane. And uh, if you ever want to, uh, you know, make sure that you're getting visibility on your planes, just right click on them over here and you can hit visibility. So I just want to show you the extrude option today. So I'm just going to draw a circle here. We can pretend we're drawing like a straight bar or you know, a, a bolt of some kind. So we'll just go with a uh, 0.50 <clears throat> and 0.25. Okay, so I've got two circles here, right? And that's on one plane. So we'll finish the sketch. And then from here, you can go up here to 3D model under the 3D model tab, hit extrude and select your surface. See how it's selecting individual surfaces here? So I could extrude this option here and it'll bring it out as a, uh, a solid three-dimensional shape. I don't want the centerpiece though. Um, I just want to show you because what I've been doing is I'm creating a a bunch of like bolt sleeves <clears throat> for a final project that I'm doing in school. And uh, I've been creating quite a few of these, so I figured I'd just show a, a video quickly on extrude. So you can bring it out to the left, or if you want, you can switch it over to the right so it goes out the other side. Uh, you can make it symmetrical so it extrudes from the center plane, you know, the center, uh, center plane here. Um, and then and there's this fourth option down here, which is asymmetric. I don't want asymmetric. I'm just going to go with one side. Uh, you can change the distance right here in the in the distance field. So we could go with 0.75 inches. So I'll just leave it leave it as such. And uh, if you see here, it goes all the way through. Um, there's other ways to to get this uh, feature in the middle here, if you wanted to. You could just go with a simple one circle, extrude it out so all this would be solid. And then if you wanted to, you could punch a hole in it, you know, and just click the hole option up here, center your hole right here, and make it go all the way through at a distance, um, you know, through all, through all your, uh, your part. That'd be the second way to, to get this hole right here, punched all the way through. It's easier with the extrude though, and uh, so that's all I wanted to show you is the extrude option there. I'll shoot another video here later, and uh, I'll start covering some of these other options up in up in the uh, 3D modeling. Um, but that's all I have for today. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel as well, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon.